All right, so hopefully you have rounding decimals as your next piece that we are looking at. And then again, I told you to copy this chart in your notebook. Again, I told you to copy this chart in your notebook. What's really nice about this chart um, is the fact that if we, if I give you a decimal, okay, and I tell you 32.96, you can put that into the chart. So 32.96, you can look at it in the chart and go, okay, here's what I need to round. Here is this, da, 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 da. And then again, if you kind of do it in pencil, I know it may not be perfect, but you can kind of erase it and start on your next problem. Again, I kind of, I think I wrote too thick, too dark. Um, I, I put too much pressure on the pencil and this pencil apparently does not like to erase. It's not a great brand. Um, but do you kind of get the point of what I mean by that? So then on the next one, right, I could put in, well, maybe the next one is 4.43. And then I could do that and then this will erase. And then I can erase that, okay? So it kind of allows you, that's why I kind of left a little bit of space underneath, just so that you have some space. So let's do some rounding. We are going to be doing rounding decimals examples. All right. So number one, I want you to round. We'll do the first one. 30... 2.965 to the hundredth, to the hundredth. So again, if you put it in the chart, right, if you're the person that needs to do that, go ahead and do it. I need to round to the hundredth, which I forgot in my chart up above, so that's solid. Hopefully you didn't copy that down from my chart. Hundredth goes here, thousands go there, and then we'll do ten thousands here. All right. Hi, yi yi. So the hundredths is the six. The hundredths is the six, which means I'm gonna look at that five. The hundredths is the six, which means I'm going to look at the five. So you think through, does the five make the six round up or does the five make the six stay the same? It makes it round up. So this would be three, two, keep that everything before the number the same, the nine stays the same. This five makes it round up, so this would be a seven and that's now not there. So this would be your answer, okay? Again, I can kind of take it out of my chart. I know it's still kind of there, but it's fine. All right, number two. Probably should write in a different color so you can actually see down here. Number two, we'll go with 4.82 to the 10th, to the 10th. So again, if I'm looking for the 10th spot, if I put it in my chart, that would be 4.82. The 10th is the 8, which means I look for the 2 for my rounding. 2 makes it stay the same, so it's just 4.8. It's just 4.8. And if you're unsure of how to use the table, again, just think, just put the decimal, think about where the decimal would be placed at, right? Two is one before, three is two, at, two before, then nine, six, five after the decimal. So I'm just using the decimal place as my placeholder, and then I can fill in the chart from there. 